What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make materials in Cinema 4D. This will work with any version of Cinema 4D you guys have, so if you guys find this tutorial helpful, please make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notifications. With that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so what you guys want to do is you guys want to go over to Google and you guys just want to find a texture you want to use for your material. Now, for this example, I'm just going to use a grunge texture, but you can really use any texture you want. So go ahead and type in smooth grunge textures HD and um, I found one I like down here and let me just keep scrolling. I'll probably leave a link in the description to this. It is right here. This this texture I really like. So this is the one I'm going to be using for the tutorial. So go ahead and right click and save the image. Just go ahead, right click, save as. Uh, the size of the image doesn't matter at all. And I always save this in my Cinema 4D textures folder. So I'm just going to save it in here. And then you can type it whatever you want. So I'm just going to type in grunge texture um, tutorial and go ahead and save it so once you have your texture saved what you guys can do is go ahead and open up a Cinema 4D Lightroom so now once you are in Cinema 4D go ahead and double click down here and it will create a new material so go ahead and double click on the material when you open the material, you should be on color. Now once you're on color, go ahead over here to where you see texture. Just double click on this or click the three little dots right there. And then go ahead and find the texture you, that you just saved. So for me, I saved it in Cinema 4D Textures. And I saved it as Grunge Texture Tutorial, which is right here. So go ahead and open it. Go ahead and always click no on this, and then you have your texture on your material. Now what you guys want to do from here is go ahead and right click, and then scroll down until you see object, soft shadow, go ahead and click that, and it'll make it like this. So what you guys want to do from here is you guys can uncheck reflectance if you guys want to. It's pretty self explanatory, it just reflects off the material. I'm going to turn it off for this uh, example. Now diffusion, you check it and nothing happened, but when you turn the brightness down, it gets darker. So diffusion uh, darkens the material and then luminance does the opposite, so it lightens the material. So when you check it, the brightness is 100, so it's going to be really bright and then you just lower the brightness down and it makes it brighter. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this to like 5%, I think this looks good. 5%. Actually, I'm not going to have any uh, luminance at all. Transparency, pretty, um, again, self-explanatory. You go ahead and check it. And then you, uh, you know, turn down the brightness, which is basically like the opacity of how transparent it is. So moving on to reflectance, um, like I said earlier, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to add a reflectance, go ahead and check it and click add and go to GGX. And then go ahead where you're at layer one here and just turn down the percentage. And then the higher it is, the more reflective it is, the lower it is, the less reflective it is. So again, I'm gonna turn it off. Environment. So this one is a pretty big one, um, in my opinion. So go ahead and click these three little dots here and you can choose any image to kind of like blend it in. Kind of, you're kind of like overlaying an image onto it. So if I uh, choose this one right here, always click no. You can kind of see that it added it onto it. Now it's gonna be really, really bright because the brightness is all the way up. But if you want, uh, turn the brightness down. And as you can see, that is already looking pretty cool. You can get some really cool looking materials with uh, the environment here. So yeah, this is um, what the environment is. Also another thing you guys can do is uh, click this little arrow here and then go down to, I believe it's gradient. It might be, might be this. Yeah, 
Alright, so go ahead and click the, the one I clicked, the friend cell, I believe it's pronounced. And then go ahead and you can change the gradient, just double click on the little uh, white bo box here. And then you can uh, kind of like set a little gradient onto the material. Now you're going to change the color and you notice it's not doing anything, but that is because this is set to white. So you want to uh, set that to like all the way up and then you can start changing like the color and everything. And it's not going to apply until you hit OK, so it's still checked at white. But let's go with like a dark blue, like that. Um, yeah, let's just go with the blue. Click OK, and as you can see, the uh, blue uh, little gradient applied. And you can also change the other one as well. So like maybe like a cotton candy kind of theme. Go with like a pink here. Um, move these both up again, and then there you go. Click OK. And now it's going to look a little bad, and again, this is just going to take a ton of experimenting with. We'll go ahead and you guys can lower the brightness, and it will lower the effect of the, like the overlay. So you can have like a little, little uh, tint here if you guys would like. Um, I'm just going to... I'm actually going to go back to, to the first one I had, this one, because I think this looks pretty cool. Again, always click no. And then I'm going to raise it to like... To like... 20 maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna go with 20. Alright, I don't really mess with fog. Um, bump is basically, it adds like, it's like sharpening the texture up, so you can, uh, I'm not gonna cover bump because it's, it's a little more advanced. Um, I don't really mess with this. Um, alpha, again, I don't really mess with. Um, yeah, so fog, bump, normal, and alpha, I won't be covering these in this tutorial. Next, the last two we have is Glow and Displacement. Glow is, again, pr pretty self-explanatory. You check it, and then you get a glow. You have the inner strength, the outer strength, the radius, and etc. So, usually for, like, the inner strength, I set it down to, like, 20%, 20 to 50%. So, let's use 25%, let's say. And then the outer strength, I usually set to zero. So, you get, like, a little inner glow. Or no, 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 it's, it's the opposite way, my, my bad. So inner strength is zero, outer strength is like 25, I believe. Yeah. And then you get this like little glow here. I'm going to uncheck the glow. Now displacement. I will have a link in the description with this texture that I'm using for this tutorial. With actually both textures actually with the environment as well. And I'll also have the image I'm using for displacement as well. So go ahead and check the description. Alright, so displacement. You check it, and then you go ahead and you, again, where it says texture, go ahead, to, go ahead, go ahead and click these three little dots again, and then um, I'm going to choose this one, which is the one that will be linked in the description. Go ahead and click no, and then it makes the material all funky. Now you guys can like change like the strength. And you guys can get like a misshaped displaced material here. Uh, looks pretty cool. And if you go into the negatives, it, it like does reverse. I usually, um, it depends. If you're using this on text, I usually have it like 0 to 10%. But if you're using this on landscapes, then uh, definitely crank it up to like 60 to 100. So I'm going to keep this at like 10%. So it's there, but it's not too big at all. So that is pretty much it for the tutorial. Now, obviously, go ahead and make yourself some text or a landscape just to te uh, test this out on. So go ahead and uh, click text. I'm not going to do anything, to be honest, with the text. I'm just going to leave it at default. Actually, I go ahead and change the font as well. I'm just going to use... Uh, I'm going to use uh, prime time for an example make this all caps just so that the T isn't bigger like that go ahead and then you can go ahead and test the material by dragging it on click uh, cubic and seamless and there you go now you guys can click this button and it'll start to pre-render it out and this is the material obviously it doesn't really look that good um, let me try something 
uh, turn the environment off and I'll probably look a lot better. Yeah, so when you turn the environment off, those weird colors go away. So that is pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. This is how you make materials in Cinema 4D. Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe below if this tutorial helped you out. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. I have been to my love.